Good day everyone. Today's presentation is on ETAP GIS and mainly on how to utilize ETAP GIS to better design, analyze, and expand transmission and distribution networks. So what ETAP GIS performs is the ability to extract the electrical layer of data from a GIS database like um, ESRI ArcGIS and provide connectivity, impedance information, and de develop and generate a single line diagram. Essentially, what is ETAP GIS? It is connecting the GIS world to the ETAP analysis tool. It's that bridge of importing the data, generating the model, so that you could perform ETAP analysis modules like power flow, short circuit study, um, feeder hosting, and, and, and so on. Now, combining a generation, transmission, and distribution system. So you could actually display in, in uh, ETAP, uh, with ETAP GIS, um, not just transmission distribution, but also generation, right, inside the, the fence. Now, um, ETAP GIS is combining the GIS view with logical um, view or OLV. So as you could see here, we have the, the logical single line diagram uh, combined also with the GIS. So to a little bit better understand, let me explain um, what, a, what a GIS or geospatial view is. It's a view of the electrical grid imported from an existing ArcGIS or ESRI database, saving hundreds of hours on recreating the model from scratch. And that's what we're looking at on the screen here in the, in the center. Now on the left is what most of us are used to seeing, a typical radial view representation of the single line diagram or logical network view. Um, and then over on the right hand side, is the net, net view or the network view which provides the engineer and operator with a very clean organized view of a very large transmission and distribution network and this is these are the three visualization views that ETAP actually provides for the user now the case for YGIS to ETAP uh, number one reduce data entry cost by using GIS updated engineering data for system studies importing your existing GIS data into ETAP to create an intelligent geospatial electrical model for design and analysis. And more importantly, the generated electrical model is ready to take advantage of ETAP situational intelligence. And we'll talk about some ADMS applications towards the end of the presentation. Um, again, continuing wide um, GIS to ETAP. Uh, ETAP performs an automatic error correction for voltage and phase, which avoids duplicate and incorrect data entry. So it basically cleans up the, uh, the data. It supports three phase, two phase, and also single phase. Um, it'll validate the GIS electrical system per required parameters and study the system for utility customer requirements as well. And why take GIS data into ETAP? And number one is to reduce the data entry cost by using GIS updated engineering data for system studies. Um, import your existing GIS data into ETAP to create an intelligent geospatial electrical model for design and analysis. And more importantly, the generated electrical model is ready to take advantage of ETAP situational intelligence. And what I mean by that is advanced distribution management system, um, as you could see here. So um, under network optimization, we, can see, we could see, for example, Volvar control, um, load management, uh, DER integration. Over on the right-hand side, we saw the distribution network analysis. So for example, protection and coordination, the unbalanced load flow. Um, and then down below, we have uh, management planning. So long-term load uh, forecast, optimum capacitor placement, optimum power flow, uh, technical and non-technical losses, reliability assessment. And over on the right-hand side, finally, is the operate, operator training, right, or um, EOTS. And um, that is, once you have an ETAP model, 
you could do software in the loop um, and then you could train uh, dispatchers um, you could use the model for root cause analysis for event playback uh, you could use it as business interface AMI integration and also backwards integration with uh, GIS all of this is put together at the core is the network operation and control functions uh, so the ability of visualizing all of this information not just in GIS but also as a logical view. Thank you everyone for attending this presentation.